In this video, we will discuss about two important concepts of immune response. First one is antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity, and second one is complementary mediated cellular complementary mediated cytotoxicity. So we will start with this antibody dependent cytotoxicity, and this is <coughs> related. And this is the uh, and this action of the immune system or, or this part of the immune system connects innate immune response to the adaptive immune response. So when the adaptive, uh, uh, when the antibodies against the uh, foreign particles or foreign harmful uh, things that is identified by the immune system is being generated, then those antibodies uh, will be bind to the antigens of those foreign uh, foreign uh, harmful particles. And after that, uh, what will happen is that this NK cells, which is the part which is inherently the part of the innate immune response will detect the FC portion of these antibodies. And as soon as it detects the FC portion of these antibodies, it will uh, release. And this FC portion is usually this CD16 uh, linkage. And this CD16, uh, once it is uh, connected, the CD16 linkage is connected, it will then release so the cytokines that will uh, cause or that will lead to the uh, cell lysis of the uh, cell lysis of the foreign harmful particles or the tumor cells uh, that are been attached by the antibodies and this can be seen here so this is how the antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity works that is the first the uh, first uh, antibodies that are being generated by the adaptive immune response is recognized by the uh, is recognized uh, foreign anti uh, the antibodies that is generated by the uh, adaptive immune response they recognize the foreign harmful particles and then the innate immune uh, NK cells innate immune NK cells will help in the cell lysis of those uh, of those foreign anti uh, foreign antibodies that are harmful to the uh, bodies and it's not just foreign antibodies it can be the any things that is harmful to the host cells against which these antibodies is generated and uh, in, uh, in some of uh, the non foreign uh, for non foreign harmful particles are the uh, tumor cells that have been generated because of the mutations so now let us discuss about this complementary mediated cytotoxicity so in this case what will happen is that uh, there is it has been explained with the help of an example so in this case the donor uh, donor lymphocytes and the recipient serum are been uh, reacted to each other so that this uh, recipient serum uh, will be bind to this donor lymphocytes after that after uh, washing uh, what will happen is that this anti uh, human globin uh, this is the kind of antibodies has been added uh, so that it can interact uh, it can uh, interact with this vital dye that can be seen here so this uh, complement and this is when the anti human globin anti human globin interacts with this uh, uh, with this uh, complex that is uh, donor lymphocytes and recipient serum it will form a uh, complement and after that uh, this the reasons where uh, there is no complement formation occurs uh, will cause this cell lysis because of the uh, membrane attack complex uh, that has been formed uh, uh, membrane attack complex that has been formed and that can only be prevented if uh, this complementary uh, formation is occurred so uh, wherever this anti-human uh, globin uh, complex uh, complement formation is not occurs, that portion that portion of the membrane will lead to the uh, cell lysis, and that can be uh, easily uh, visualized using this uh, vital dye. So in this uh, step, the vital dye is also uh, uh, been a part of the intracellular components of the cells. So when the cell lysis occurs, uh, this uh, the cell lysis occurs this uh, dye can be uh, easily uh, visualized under the microscope uh, so in this case uh, what will uh, we can uh, we can see the dead cells and the live cells and uh, visualize those dead cells and the live cells using this uh, uh, vital dyes and these vital dyes can be and, and this uh, vital dyes can be easily uh, be easily been able to distinguish the uh, cells which are uh, live and which are dead uh, 
uh, one of the examples uh, could be the uh, one of the examples could be the uh, this diet that is usually be used uh, during cell counting i'm not able to recall that name the trifen blue diet trifen blue diet that can be used because trifen blue diet has the ability to go inside the uh, membrane of the dead cells whereas the uh, whereas it uh, it does not has the ability to go uh, inside the membrane of the live cells so one of one such dye uh, can be used to distinguish which are the live cells and which are the dead cells and this complementary mediated cytotoxicity is the uh, is also a part of the immune response and it is uh, complementary or it uh, enhances the and this both anti body dependent cellular cytotoxicity and this complementary dependent cytotoxicity and then says the immune response against the uh, harmful particles within the host so i hope you got an idea about uh, this two important immune response that usually occurs uh, within the body or within the host uh, if you need to understand more about these details you can go through the references it doesn't provide a description that's all for this video thank you for your time